This Stuart Bard action film doubled its $60 million budget following its March 1996 release. The longtime film editor who has cut everything from Superman, James Bond, Star Trek, Lethal Weapon, and Zorro does a wonderful job with his directorial debut, keeping everything tense and exciting without ever becoming confusing. The R-rated story follows Kurt Russell as an intelligence analyst who tags along with some army commandos during a mid-air boarding operation to thwart an airplane hijacking in progress. Inherently, it's yet another movie involving an airplane in distress. I swear we've seen a variation on this disaster theme a hundred times already, but the implementation here is unique enough to keep you entertained. In fact, the doomed airliner here bears the oceanic insignia, which we'd see crashing eight years later in the TV series Lost. Russell is confident and charismatic in the lead, able to quip jokes and flirt with the gorgeous flight attendant Halle Berry while keeping his cool under duress. The expansive and well-utilized supporting cast includes Steven Seagal, John Leguizamo, David Suchet, Oliver Platt, Joe Morton, and a few other familiar faces. In a daring move, one of them is even killed off earlier in the film, in a surprising but effective first act twist. Another hair-raising sequence sees an incapacitated Morton attempting to talk Platt through defusing a bomb using only household products and a mirror, reminding his friend, if you screw up, you'll never know it. Although it perpetually flirts with the unbelievable, the 133-minute film remains realistic enough to allow suspension of disbelief. The high-stakes plot bounces between parallel narratives with well-framed shots and visual effects, especially considering the claustrophobic environment. It is very important that you follow me, sir. You must follow me. Captain, please acknowledge. This is Alta. Why are we being threatened? I told you my terms are absolute. The hostages will be released once we have landed in Washington. No compromises. This is Secretary of Defense Charles White. You must listen to me. We know you know plan. nothing. Tell your president that he will comply or suffer the blood of many Americans on this plane. Jerry Goldsmith's original and patriotic music is an excellent backdrop for a film that unfortunately wallows a bit in the second act, but comes roaring back with a thrilling climax. Watching Russell think out loud to himself as he attempts to fly the jumbo jet almost by trial and error is a particularly awesome scene. A well-executed script of familiar ideas that's greater than the sum of its parts, this is a very rewatchable adventure with plenty of memorable moments. Executive Decision is an old-fashioned aviation nail-biter. Here are some of your thoughts now from the YouTube comments. A 7 and an 8 for Executive Decision. While you admitted its issues, you also were thoroughly entertained by this movie and scored it a cool. What can I say? As repetitive as they are, I'm a sucker for airplane-based thrillers. I thought this picture was great. 